So with that active hamstring stretch, we're basically using the nervous system to our advantage. When you contract one muscle, it causes the relaxation of the opposing group. So in this case, we're using the quad to cause a relaxation in the hamstring. So it's pretty simple. We just want to make sure that we're in the right position. So I don't want you to match your low back into the mat. I want you to make sure you maintain a nice little neutral lumbar curve. So pelvis is low. No reverse pelvic tilt, no anterior pelvic tilt. So far, I've not found anybody where this did not work out. If you clasp your fingers, straighten your elbows all the way, it's going to give you a 90 degree angle at the hip. And that's really what we're at. 90 degrees at the hip, I don't want to be above 90. So straight elbows, rest your head, and then all you're going to do is simply straighten your knee as far as you can, and bend. Ultimately, we want to be able to do this in a dorsiflexed position, pull those toes to your shin. However, that's going to light everything up pretty good. So you can alternate by plantar flexing for one, and then dorsiflex. So our goal is to be able to extend the knee in a dorsiflex position at 90 degrees of hip, then we're pretty happy that that hamstring's doing all right. So make sure you maintain a nice little neutral curve at your low back, and lock your fingers behind your knee, straight elbows so that you have a 90 degree angle at your hip, and then simply go through straightening and bending the knee, both in a plantar flex and dorsiflex position.